up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Let's Talk. Um, today we're going to talk about things we say. So what are some of the things we say that we don't even think about and we just kind of like throw it out there and say? Um, so the other day I was in the barber shop uh, getting a haircut and I noticed my barber had a picture of I, I think what I think it was, was a friend. Um, and then on that picture it said uh, R.I.P. you know on the name of the guy and then um, under the picture it said YOLO. So I was staring at it and I started remembering times where I used, I used to say, I used to use the saying um, as, as part of my way of you know, talking and um, describing uh, what, what I'm about. You know, um, I don't know if have you guys ever used that that one before? Like you only live once. Oh, 100%. Out of, in reality, like I was living my life like if you know, like like if I didn't care. You know, I was living my life uh, partying and doing doing a lot of stupid things. Um, and then so I almost lived by this saying that other people that I heard that I heard other people say. You know, um, and but but now I understand like the the meaning of it, you know, you only live once, but that is not even true. Like the reality is that you live forever, you know, and, and, and I think um, kind of like as I was looking at that, um, I felt like God was speaking to me through it and, and reminding me that, that we don't live once, like we live forever. And it, it's almost like one of those things that, that the enemy uses to, uh, to get into our belief system, yeah. you know. Because he knows that if, if he could get into our belief system, he could turn us away from God. I think that we, a lot of people, including myself, when I used to say it, we would use it as an excuse, um, like an, as an excuse to do whatever we wanted, mm -hmm. to please our flesh and just like, you know, mess up if, if we felt like doing that in the moment. Yeah. Um, but the reality is that, yes, I mean, we have eternal life, like you were saying, but what we do on this earth matters. So it's yeah. not like we can just say that and then you know, move on and, and what we did in that moment that we felt like doing didn't matter. Like it, it makes a difference and it makes an impact. So that's it's important good. to like yeah, be aware. Good. I think that when you understand how powerful your words are, yeah. then you begin to actually think before you speak. Mm -hmm. And there's a wise woman that she wrote a book. You guys can look it up. It's called Change Your Words change your life mm -hmm. and for me it's like I'll be at work and somebody will be like I'm so stressed and I'm like do you know what stressed backwards spells and they're like huh I'm like why don't you write stressed backwards it spells desserts <laughs> you know so like every time you want to say I'm so stressed say something else like hey I'm dessert I want, <laughs> I want some desserts you know you might gain you might have to run an extra mile that day but the point is whatever if you say I'm so stressed you're going to be stressed if you say, I'm so blessed, I'm so abundant, like whatever you profess from your mouth is what your yeah. brain is gonna believe and that's what's gonna be the outcome. In your conscience, you start, you start not believing that you can do a certain, a certain thing or that, or that you're not capable. And that's another thing that is so important of why when we say negative things, so I think that like that goes into the, the move of like negative words or like negative things that we say. When we say things like that, we are limiting ourselves mm -hmm. and that we are starting to establish a belief system like you said that it's not even healthy you know so like we can do it you know i, I could get over this no i'm never going to be able to do this yeah. and those things just i feel like box us in and like paralyze us and, and also like we might say things like that but we might think it's like insignificant yeah but in reality like it comes from somewhere you know, we are saying it for a reason. Mm -hmm. It's coming out because, because it's in the heart, yeah. you know? I think it goes back to the, the conditioning of your brain from when you were little. Like if you were in an environment where everything they said was negative, mm -hmm. then naturally you just developed those tendencies. But you can change that by being conscious. What you said, being conscious, and you said your belief system. So as you go on through life, you... you you grow up and you've created these limiting beliefs yeah. in your mind and you operate from that place. Strongholds. Mm -hmm. 
Right. They're definitely strongholds. And so, like, two words, I actually have them tattooed. It's I am, you know, and it's whatever you say after that is what you'll become. Mm -hmm. I am strong. I am a son of God. I am a leader. I am a lion. I am a winner. I am gay. Not, <laughs> yeah, I am gay. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you get, you know? And so I think that's so important because those affirmations really begin to shape your reality. That's true because I... So I'm like a perfectionist by nature, and um, whenever I like mess up or, or you know do something not as perfectly as I want to do it, I have a tendency of saying I'm such an idiot or man I'm such a fail or you know I, I we say these things so much and it gets to a point where yeah we start to believe them and and we start to act like if we were those things in the future, but also it, it's coming from somewhere up, like somewhere in our hearts you know what's happened that has made us believe that we are idiots or that you know our life sucks or that we're failures and and just like working on that and and like like you were saying Gabe what's God's truth over me you know yeah. am I am I really an idiot do I really suck or or what is it you know and all the time God will speak to you and and he'll show you that you are not those yeah. things and I mean yeah we're weak in our flesh but he He's stronger than us, and he gives us that strength, so. And it's great that you're able to identify that yeah. now, because when you can write that down, like, this is a limiting belief that exists, I'm yeah. going to eliminate it. Because exactly. now you identified it, now you can conquer it. We don't really see the importance of it, because we minimize. Yeah. And that's, that's a tendency, that we minimize things, and we think, we think they don't affect us. Like, we think, you know, we're fine. We're, this is just, this is who I am. This is how I talk. You know, you can't change me. Yeah. You know, why are you trying to ch change me? You know, um, if you love me, then don't try to change me. me. If, if you accept me. Oh my God, but in yeah. reality, <laughs> like a lot of times we ask God to, like, God, take us deeper. You know, God, take us deeper. And we want to walk close, closer with you. But we're not willing to look at those small things that are really taking a big hit, mm -hmm. a, a big um impact in our lives how you how you do the little things is how you do everything yeah i think um we have the power of life and death in our tongue and one 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 way to like really like grasp how that how important our words are is think about like when you get a random small message from someone telling you like i'm thinking about you and how it turns your whole day around you know and you just feel happy and you just feel great and it was just such a small detail just like a five word text message or and just telling you I'm thinking about you and it just completely changes the way that you feel the way that you think the way that you're carrying yourself out that day and just the same way when somebody tells you a negative word or somebody gives you an attitude at work or, or anywhere else like it just changes your entire day and it brings you down and sometimes we we just think that what other people say to us bring brings us down right yeah. but it's not, it's not only what other people say, it's what we say to ourselves that brings us down as well. And we don't even think about it because we do it so often. We just are so used to doing it. So when we think about it like that, we're like, when somebody tells us something nice, it just could change the whole course of our day. Then our words have to be that powerful. You say it and then it, you begin to like live it, like submit yourself to that. Right, like reality. why? And I think that this brings us to like really... Um, analyzing it's like an invitation for us to analyze like what are some of the things that we say that we have completely shaped our lives around this one thing and I think it's also important to when you're around younger kids to make them be con like young as like four or five six when they say that I can't say no you can do it yeah. no you will do it say I can words of affirmation can change your own life first and then other people's lives through your love. Like if I say, I appreciate you, thank you, I'm proud of you, you're doing a great job, you know, like those words of affirmation. I know for me growing up, I never got them from my dad. My mom was physically present, but she really didn't say words of affirmation. Yeah. And so not only what we tell ourselves, but how do we affirm and what we say towards others is, like you said, is very important. And it's so important to receive these words of affirmation um, because I think that's what God uses to, to reaffirm who we are, our identity. Um, and eventually what we hear is gonna be what we say.
now with social media like what what we see who are we following like like you know a lot of us you know we, we go on social media in the morning and then we're starting our, our day off you know exposing ourselves to content and like if that content is not coming from God and it's not something that pleases God then our whole days are going to be just this cycle of, of negativity and, and of these things that we're seeing on our phones and scrolling through. If we are if we're listening to negative music and like negative people and, and always listening to negativity, we're going to be speaking about negative things, you know, like everything that comes in through our ear. Um, and the perfect proof is like, why are you saying this? Or why do you believe that? Oh, I don't know. I just heard it. Like, that's a perfect proof. Like, you just hear something and you start saying it without even thinking, without acknowledging it. Or singing a song without realizing the words you're singing. It happens to me all the time. I'm like, eh, why, am I <laughs> even, I why am I even singing this song? I don't even yeah. like the song. There's a, an image that I saw once and it says, small minds talk about people. Average minds talk about events, but great minds talk about ideas. You know, in social media, sometimes all we're doing is talking about what this celebrity did when we're not dealing with yeah. what we're doing on the inside. Like, inf who is influencing us, right? So, like, relationships or, like, who are we, who are we learning from? A lot of us look to certain people or, or certain things to, um, to learn and to base our, our, our behaviors or our lives upon that. So I think it's very important for us to to identify who and what is influencing us into living the way that we're living and talking the way that we're talking. There's gotta come a point that we're like, why, okay, why do I behave this way? And why do I talk like this? Where, where do I get this idea from? Where do I believe, why do I believe this? So I think that if we, if we really pay attention to who and what is influencing us, then we can start identifying like, okay, so maybe this is not positive for my life. We're gonna be influenced by people around us by social media, we're gonna be influenced by a lot of things, like our surroundings, but we need to stop and like identify and, and, and really like ask ourselves, like who is influencing me and is it even good for me? Yeah. I was just thinking about like where I was at in my mind eight, eight years ago, nine years ago. And if you would have brought this up to me, I would have been like, YOLO. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> so, I have a choice. I, I, am I gonna break the cycle, you know, and and be and make a difference, you know, or am I gonna continue on and just think that this is not hurting anybody and this is all fine? So um, I, I think it's great. This is a good topic. Um, you guys uh, brought it to the table. <laughs> brought it to the table with some value. For me, just the last two words is speak life. That I actually wrote a message about it a while back when I was helping the kids at, at high school, and that was the title of the message, just those two words. Yeah. You're going to speak, like you said earlier, are you going to speak life or are you going to speak death? You get to choose. Yeah. Amen, brother. Amen. All right, guys. Well, thank you for joining us. I think this was a good talk, and let's see what's next. Thank you for having us. Yeah. Thanks, guys. See you later. Hey guys, I hope y'all really loved that episode of Let's Talk. Go ahead and comment, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. If there's anything specifically that you'd like for us to talk about in the future, just go ahead and comment below, share it with your friends, and let us know what exactly was it that you could relate to. We love you guys. We're going to continue to bring it to the table, and God bless you.